So um, here we go. Let me show you. And I'm doing this to make sure that there is no bugs in it because I had no intentions on keeping this plant. So I left it outside last night in the rain. Whatever plant this is, <laughs> I got it on clearance for three dollars at um, at my local Lowe's, and I was following the advice of my dear foul pal Amon. Please go visit her channel, Amon's Garden. But um, I simply bought it because I need that basket. So whatever type of plant this is, I'm just going to take it out. I wanted to give it away. My mom said she didn't want it, and um, so we're just going to throw it to the side, honey. And I'm going to put my beautiful Vanda um, in there because as you can see, I have new root production. But that basket is just way too small for it. And that's the problem many of us are having. We are buying these Vandas and then we don't know how to care for the roots. We don't know how to position them in a pot because you know, they have very sturdy roots. So Foul Pals, what I chose to do was just choose a bigger basket because I thought that would be the easiest for me. So you guys are going to get to watch me do that. All right, and we will talk about my other orchids later, but I just wanted to let you know what's going on with my beautiful Vanda. Stay tuned. So, Fab Pals, this might be a case of um, crown rot because every, I mean, it does have new growth, but I'm not familiar enough with it to separate it. And the middle part of it, honey, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to set it to the side, but I'm thinking I should just throw it away. I see new growth, but that all of that stuff in the middle, what is going to happen of it? So, um, I brought my, um, Vanda Danielle in, um, which was really against my will because I'm expecting bugs to be in here, but those wasp was outside and they were, um, really just being too domineering for me. So, um, all I'm going to do is just transplant my Vanda Danielle into this larger pot. Um, she does have a lot of new root production. Um, I want to take into consideration um, actually what part of the plant was facing the sun and which part was not. Now, um, I'm finding that someone is chewing on her roots or I don't know, Fab Pals, have you seen anything like this before where the um, root tips would turn black? Because I'm not putting any fertilizer on it. No ma'am, no way, no Pam. So, um, ultimately, she's doing very good. This is the first first leaf that I have ever grown from a banda, and this is the other one coming in. So, all right, Val Pals, this is some good old moss that I hydrated with rainwater, and I am just going to layer it on the bottom of this pot, honey. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Very light and fluffy for my Vanda. Then I am going to put some of this bark in there. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do, which is very against my will, is um take this um out of here okay i'm very afraid if i start screaming and hollering again honey forgive me forgive me because honey there's no telling but this baby is trying to grow i'm not going to do anything special to her because honey i'm still not the vanda queen honey so this is not my cup of tea honey this is not my cup of tea but, okay, Fab Pals, no sense of wasting time with watching me dismantle all of this. Just stay tuned. Okay, Fab Pals, it was a root that was attached to the pot. Um, I had to um, snatch it off, unfortunately. These are the roots that's remaining, which is very adequate to keep this um, banda alive. However, it is some bugs in the mist, and I'm just, <laughs> that's just not my cup of tea. So, um, honey, 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 honey. Where's the bug? Honey, I don't know. That's the scary.
scary part. Because when it comes out, it comes out. Well, I must have missed it because it goes away. And see, this is what I mean, pals. Um, these big roots, which you don't want to, you're not, uh, you're not upset about them. But it makes them so hard to be in a pot. Honey, it makes it so hard, honey. It makes it so hard. There it goes, babe. Huh? There the bug. A spider. A spider? Yeah, come kill it. The spider is a bug. I know that. It's right here. What? Good job. Good job. Oh, where would I be without my daughter? Okay, pal, pal. So after I attempted to string it up with the fish wire, um, it's, that was non effective because it was slicing the roots or it was prone to slice the roots. So, um, what I actually had to do was, um, just keep twisting the, um, banda inside of the pot. So that might be a tip and trick for some of you guys that are struggling with placements in your pot. Um, I had to keep turning it and turning it and eventually it nested itself inside. Now, I chose to use some old stakes to um, anchor it through the pot both ways, horizontal and diagonally. And what I'm hoping to do is just keep it um, in a nice sturdy space um, so when the wind come, I don't have to worry about it being blown out of the pot. It is tilted, but honey, this was the best that I could do. Show me what you can do. Now, I am going to finish putting moss and bark chips inside of it, and then I'll show you the finished product. Now, as far as it pertains to the bugs, yes, there was um, small bugs inside, but I had my daughter, Havela, to help me along the way. And after um, getting frustrated with trying to anchor it in the pot, I kind of forgot all about looking for bugs. And like I said, I have my gloves on, so no fungus. But all right, Val Pals, thank you so much. Stay tuned. Val Pals, I have had so much fun with my daughter um, placing this banda in this hanging wooden basket. Now, this is the finished bark, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to do is just cover it up with moss, and then we are done after I hang it. But I wanted you guys to see how I placed the bark in there and just kind of shook it around to give it get a little, little even. So stay tuned. So Fal Pals, this is the finished product, honey, with the moss on it. So the next thing I'm going to do is hang that baby up outside. But you gotta stay tuned. Every day, Fal Pals, these birds get in my freaking orchids and start pulling out all of the moss. If it's not the wasp, it's the birds. Then I got frogs coming. This is not going to... Look! Now you see? They just throwing my mouse out of there. That's the last little mouse that I got. So, fam pals, if you know how to take care of this, honey, let me know, honey. Do mama need to get a scarecrow, honey? Do she need to get a scarecrow? Please, even my little cakey down there, honey, they all picking up on that. Please, honey, let me know, honey. Stay tuned. Let me know. Look, fam, pals, they is just throwing all my mouths away. This not, this just from today. Yesterday, they took a whole bunch of it out and threw it on the ground over there. Please help me with these freaking birds. Stay tuned.